Hey there everyone, let's talk about some games. Let's talk about uh, Final Fantasy XIV and the Adventurer Plate. Uh, if you want to access your Adventurer Plate, you can do it in the character button in the bottom here. And you can see uh, what I've done. But if you want to edit them, this is probably the screen you want. You access it in the same space and click on Portraits. And so I've made a couple here kind of screwing around figuring it out uh, so let's make a new one so we'll say create new and you kind of start off with like a, a blank canvas uh, if you've ever done like G pose uh, which is found in another menu but that's something else uh, it a lot of it functions that way so if you want to um, edit this of course hit the big edit button and here we can get some of the various presets under the background here. Like you can be like, oh, Lancer and whatnot, or really minimalist and solid gray. There are several frames to choose from. Uh, from what I understand, you can get more of these from uh, the PvP event, from the, um, the Crystalline Conf Conflict. Uh, there's some accents, oh, furry stuff. But for the most part, what you're probably going to spend most of the time in is this character slot. So you can roll out, you can right click to move around. Um, the lighting can be messed with, like so you have your ambient lighting, how bright is it? Uh, you can change the RBG if you so desire. There's directional lighting, so you could change the direction in which the, the, uh, the light's striking your character how tall it is here uh, where it is in the scene like uh, orbiting the character I guess would be the best description so from here you will choose uh, I don't know let's do happy somewhat interesting oh and your character will still move around if you hit your auto move button so uh, you can tell the character to face the camera with this button and they'll look at the camera kind of thing, so you can turn them. This will tell them to make their eyes look at the camera. So we'll get a little bit closer so you can see that. Or you can say face the camera. So uh, it sounds pretty small, but the creative people in the community, I'm sure, are going to take this to a uh, fantastic level. So get a portion of the motion you like. You can hit pause. To pause whatever emote you want you can see the various list of emotes that are available to you in this as uh, in this section you can change the facial expressions as well so now i can say look at the camera stop looking at the camera and then you can there you go slightly different save so now when you're in this uh, page if you right click on this you can say apply to adventurer plate and whenever someone right clicks on you and examines you that's what they'll see right so I have this one um, not super amazing but it's okay um, now that we've covered this let's maybe go run around Limsa and see what those weirdos have made here we are Limsa Liminsa uh, this place uh, never uh, themes to fail when it comes to cool glamours and the community being interesting. Uh, you can probably spot the characters who are going to make a cool adventurer plate based on their glamours and like the level of effort they've put in. So yeah, uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, summoner with the big book that uh, looks like one of the Mog Station dresses. Uh, adventurer plate. Yeah, so as you can see, these people have uh, stopped the uh, the animation. Like I showed you that pause button, and they were able to get a cool pose and snap a photo of it, put the camera where they wanted. Uh, how about... Uh, yeah, this guy looks like he put some effort into his glamour. Wow, does not have one. That's amazing. So don't disappoint people. Make something for us. This one looks good, too. Yeah, see... Uh, she clearly made the use the look at the camera, shifted around. Um, here's one. Yeah, so 
Uh, I haven't seen any of the <laughs> mega lewd ones that are apparently out there. But uh, I'm sure we'll bump into one eventually. It is limbs after all. <laughs> it does not look impressed. Uh, oh, wow, the number of people who haven't worked on one of these yet. It's sad. So as you can see, yeah, it's like a nice little personalization. It kind of adds to uh, to your creative side. It lets you kind of express yourself. I, don't, I think if you bump into one where someone did a really good job, maybe you should be like, hey, your adventure plate looks really cool. Like, uh, like that's, it's, from my experience, whenever I've got a really cool glamour I worked on and someone's like, oh, wow, your glamour's awesome. It's, I don't know, it makes people stay. But, um... Uh, uh, it's been fun to share this with you guys. Maybe I'll do some more on Final Fantasy. Uh, have a good day, everyone.